Hi, my name is Ed, one of the health professionals here at Regency. I'm going to show you a super simple exercise that's going to get you strong and fit and mobile all in one go. It doesn't involve any equipment and it's super simple to do. You're going to enjoy this. All we need is a space where we can do some movements left and right and forwards and backwards. You don't need a yoga mat, but a yoga mat might be nice if your feet are sensitive. I'm barefoot, you don't have to be barefoot, but I prefer barefoot because it gives me more of a workout with my feet. Okay, what we're going to do to start with is simply step forwards and backwards. So I'm holding my left foot uh, still and I'm stepping forwards and backwards with my right foot. Okay, from the side it looks like this. I'm just stepping forwards and backwards. So I call this a pivot. And what this is doing, this is getting my left foot to, uh, to wake up a little bit. It's helping work my balance as well. So as I'm stepping forwards and backwards, I'm going further and further now. I'm slowly going to start feeling a stretch on the front of my hip as I go forwards here. So I'm in this position like this. And then as I go backwards, I'm going to bend at the hips a little bit and feel a stretch in the back of my leg. I'm also going to bring my toes up just a little bit here. So I'm stepping forwards and backwards. Now I want you to do this as well. And start to feel a stretch at the front of your hip and the back of your hip as you pivot forwards and backwards. Now this position here opens up the front of your belly. This is the antidote to sitting. This is the, this is the stretch you need. If you, if you work at a desk, this is the stretch you need to open up the front of your hips. Okay, so once you've got the movements with the feet going forwards and backwards, we're going to bring in the hands. So the first thing we're going to do is take both hands up overhead. This is stretching through the shoulders, opening up those tight shoulders. Now we step back, we're going to take both hands towards the knee. So it looks like this. Stepping forward, nice stretch the front of the body. Step back, stretch the back of the body. Now as you step back, you don't want to round your back too much. You can keep the back relatively straight so you feel it stretching to your hamstrings. So forwards and backwards. This is great. So we're going to do about 10 of each movement, okay? Now just come work with me here. See if you can keep up. I'm not going too fast, but as you get good at this, you'll get a little bit faster. Okay, so now we've got the front of that hip warmed up, we're going to do the other leg. So again, start standing on the right leg, step forwards and backwards. It shouldn't take you so long this time to get the movement. Then when you're comfortable, just bring in the hands. So we're going to go for 10 here. That's it. That's two. Good. Well done. Keep going. Open up the front of the hips. Open up the shoulders. You know, you can even look up at your hands when you do this if you want. Get that neck stretched as well. Two more. Nice. This class, we call it the FAST class. It stands for Fascial Activation and Stretch Training. We're stretching the fascia, which is this connective tissue within the body. And stretch training and strength training gets the muscles to be longer and stronger. I originally developed this class for the Canadian Olympic team to do in a place where they didn't have much room. So if they're traveling to hotels, that sort of thing, they can do this in the hotel room. So this would apply to you as well. You can take this class wherever you go because it's super simple. It involves no equipment and not much room. Okay, now we've got the feet going. We're going to go again. Left foot stays still, right foot goes forwards and backwards. As you step forward, I want you to lean and then lean away from the leg that's back. So in this case, I'm leaning away from my left leg. So I'm stretching through the side of my body. As I come back, rather than going straight back with this foot, I'm going to go out at about 45 degree angle. And now I'm going to twist down just a little bit. So I get a different stretch into my hamstrings, and a different stretch into my hip. So I'm going up and I'm leaning. Again, we're going to do 10 of these. A couple more. Good. Okay, change sides. So get going again with the, with the feet. The left foot, in my case, is going forwards and backwards. And you can just mirror me, just do the opposite. And as you go forwards, you stretch through that side, breathing in through here. That's three. Last one. Okay, good job. So that's going forwards and backwards. 
and that's opening up the front of the body and the back of the body, but we also have the sides of the body as well. So we're gonna do another movement for that. You're gonna stand on your left leg again, and you're gonna step out to the side, like an old school kind of groin stretch. And in here, you're gonna drop your hip down. Hopefully you'll feel a stretch through here. If you feel a pinch on the outside of your hip, just take this leg slightly forward and that'll get rid of the pinch. Now from this position, you're gonna push off the leg and step across to the other side. Now that involves some balance, a little bit of coordination as well. So practice this one. So we're going out to the groin stretch, and back for a side hip stretch. Groin stretch, side hip stretch. Groin stretch, side hip stretch. Okay, once you feel comfortable with that, we're gonna bring the arms in. So I'm stepping out to this side, I'm gonna take this arm up and reach through here. This, as this hand comes up, this drops my hip down slightly here, and then I'm gonna take this one in front of me, just to sort of point straight. And what that does, it just rotates my hip just a little bit. So we're going to one side, and the other. So here, I'm reaching up, stretching through the outside of my body. This side, I'm stretching through this side of the body. We're gonna do uh, 10 of these. So I've already done three. That's it, that's four. It's like I'm chopping something in front of me, like, a, like the old karate kid. That's it. Okay, a couple more. Perfect. Now we're doing the same thing the other side. So you're stepping out. Get this groin stretch here. You know, if you can't feel it, just push your hip, your hand down here. And this is gonna stretch the you know, tight inside of the legs. Then this hand comes up and this one comes in. So we're going one side, then the other. One side, then the other. That's perfect. And you can see I'm rolling across this foot, really waking up all those little receptors in the foot. Those things that we put in our shoes and we forget about, they need to be activated. This is great for balance, for strength, for coordination. Just one more here. That's good. Okay, so we've done the front of the body, we've done the sides of the body. Now we have to do the way the body rotates. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna imagine we're standing on a line and behind me is, uh, is zero degrees and we're gonna go 45 degrees that way. So I'm gonna take my foot, and I'm gonna step out 45 degrees and you can see I'm stretching my hip here and I'm bending this knee. So from, from a different angle, it looks like this. I'm taking my right foot and I'm stepping out 45 degrees this way. All right, try not to keep the, the, um, the heels in alignment. That makes you a little bit off balance. Just step out to the side slightly. Okay, so once you step out this way, you're gonna take both hands around to the right. And as you come back, you're gonna take this leg, which is my right leg, to 90 degrees this way. So I'm really kind of bringing my hips together, stretching those tight hip rotators. So I'm stretching round and stretching back my shoulders are at shoulder height, and they are gently swinging from one side to the other. My, one palm is up, one palm is down. So I'm really spreading my fingers as well, getting rid of that tight contracture that a lot of us have from using keyboards. I'm really working through the shoulder muscles as I go as far as I can, working through, in this case, my uh, left hip. Okay, a couple more here. Perfect. Now we're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna stand on your other foot, in my case, my right foot, stepping out, opening up, getting a bit of a stretch in my groin, take both hands round to the right. And as I come back, I'm stepping at 90-90. Now it's okay to do it in two movements like this. That's just fine as well. When you first do this, you might find it a little bit tricky to get all the way from one movement to another. Remember pointing that foot along 45 degrees. Okay, a couple more here. That's perfect. Okay, well done. What you've done now is you've opened up every single joint in your body, all the ligaments, all the fascia, all the muscles. You've opened up going forwards and backwards. You've opened up from side to side and you've opened up in rotation. Now, not many sports and not many exercises do it. Do what we just did. This is really good for you. You need to do this every day. It takes about me five, 10 minutes. If you do it twice, it'll take you 10 minutes, but five minutes minimum. Do this every day. It's gonna keep you healthy and it's gonna keep you strong and it's gonna keep you mobile.